All right, TM Nation, so I've been hearing good things about Edifier earbuds for a while now, but up until I picked up these two pairs of earbuds, the only experience that I had with the company was with a pair of their bookshelf speakers a couple of years ago, and those things were solid for the price. But about three weeks ago, I got my hands on both the TWS-1 Pros and the TWS-330 NBs, and I've done quite a bit of testing with both pairs. You can usually find each pair for about $50 or so, depending on where you get them from. I was able to find the TWS-1 Pros on Amazon for 49 bucks, but it looks like you're gonna have to get the 330 NBs on AliExpress eBay or another website. In this video, we're going to take a look at both because although the sound quality you get with both pairs is really similar, the designs that you get with these earbuds are completely different and the specs available with one may suit your needs better than the other. But before we get into all of that, let's listen to some tunes and check out the unboxing experience. First taking a look at the cases, they're both about the same size and they also both feel sturdy in the hands. The major differences that you have in between the two are the 330 NB case is a glossy finish that is kind of a fingerprint magnet. This case also does have the LED light in the front of it to display your connection and charging status. The TWS-1 Pro case on the other hand is more of a matte finish that will not absorb fingerprints as easily but as you can see this case also does not have an LED light. Now one thing that I do want to note for you guys is that neither case supports wireless charging which would have been nice but they do charge via USB type C. Battery life wise with the TWS-1 Pros you'll get about 12 hours or so on a single charge but you will be able to throw the earbuds back into the case for another 30 hours for a total maximum usage of about 42. Now the 330s will give you much less battery life they'll give you about 5 hours on a single charge and another 15 using the case for a total of 20. So if battery life is going to be the deciding factor for you, the TWS-1 Pros are much better, but it is important to note that both pairs do support quick charging. If the battery life of the 330s is a concern for you, only 10 minutes worth of charging will give you about an hour worth of use with the earbuds. Moving on to the design of the earbuds, like I mentioned earlier, they are completely different. As you can see, the 330s have more of an AirPods Pro style design, and for those of you that don't like stems, the TWS-1 Pros are going to be right up your alley as they're just a normal pair of true wireless earbuds. Both pairs feel completely fine in my ears, neither is overly large or overly heavy in my opinion, but comfort wise I prefer the fit that you get with the TWS-1 Pros. In my ears they stay in place just a little bit better than the 330s, but overall I've worn both pairs for hours at a time without getting any ear fatigue or anything of that nature, I just like the way that the TWS-1 Pros feel a little bit better. If you're looking for earbuds that don't stick out much, neither pair really sticks out that much at all. It really comes down to the curvature of your face, but if somebody is walking behind you or coming directly towards you, they'll be able to see both of them coming out just slightly. The 330s do not protrude out of your ears as much, but remember they do have the stems that will be visible from most angles. One area where these earbuds are gonna differ is in the noise canceling. The 330s are gonna offer you active noise canceling. The TWS S1 Pros don't have this feature. I will say this though guys, with the TWS-1 Pros, if you have the correct sized ear tips installed, you'll get a nice seal and some nice passive noise canceling, but it's not going to reduce as much of your ambient sound as the ANC that you'll get with the 330s. For me, I would say that the ANC that you get with the 330s does a decent to good job of reducing sounds such as buzzing, humming, and light talking. Now during my testing, these didn't reduce quite as much sound as some more expensive earbuds that I have, such as the AirPods Pros 
and my WF-1000 XM4s. While testing these, it became clear to me sounds that those earbuds pretty much get rid of are still faintly audible using these. So overall, like I said, I think they do a decent to good job, but they're not gonna get rid of everything. The 330s also do have a transparency mode and I do think it works okay as well. You can adjust the strength of it through the Edifier Connect app and I found that using it, I can usually hear what's going on around me within about a two foot radius. I have used both for exercise and they both stayed in place relatively well until I became sweaty. You have to remember guys that neither pair of these earbuds have any ear hooks or ear wings to keep them planted in your ears. So once the sweat starts flowing, you're probably gonna have to reposition them once or twice to keep them from falling out. Between the two, the 330 stayed in place slightly better than the TWS One Pros for me. I expected it to be the other way around Around, but the way that the 330s fit down into my ears just stayed in place a little bit better when it came down to exercise and sweating. Concerning the amount of sound leakage that you'll get with these earbuds, they both leak about the same amount of sound, in my opinion. But as always, I did take samples for you guys to judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. As far as the Bluetooth connection, whether you're using an iOS device or an Android device, pairing is a breeze. One major difference that you have in between the two is the 330s are using Bluetooth 5.0 and the TWS One Pros are using 5.2. However, for you gamers out there, the 330s do feature a gaming mode that will focus on providing a low latency experience. So if that's a feature that you need, you do not get that with the TWS One Pros. So keep this in mind. But to make things more confusing, the TS1 Pros are using the Aptex codec, so with both pairs, you shouldn't see any noticeable lag. Through the YouTube and Amazon Prime apps, everything for me has been pretty synced up. Even with gaming, both pairs have performed for me just fine. Now, the only game that I tested this out with was Call of Duty Mobile, but everything seemed to be pretty much instant. Moving on and touching on the playback controls, both pairs are going to be executed by touch. Neither pair has any physical buttons. You are able to customize the playback controls through the Edifier Connect app with the 330s, but this is not an option with the TWS One Pros as they don't currently connect to the app. But with the 330s, you only have single tap and double tap, so no matter how you set your controls up, you won't be able to do everything at once, but you can add volume controls, which is a plus. On the TWS One Pros, though, you have single tap, double tap, and triple tap, which allows you to control your tracks, your calls, and volume. For the water resistance ratings that you'll get with these earbuds, the 330s are IP54 and the TWS One Pros are IP65. That being said, both pair are considered waterproof, so if you want to buy them for exercise, splashes of water or sweat will not harm them. I did do my water test by spraying water all around the earbuds just to see how they would react while being wet. Let's take a look at what happened. As I mentioned a moment ago, the 330s are compatible with the app and it does have the basics, but it's not as robust as some other companion apps that I've tried out in the past. It does allow you to see the charge left on both of your earbuds, but not the case. This really isn't a big deal though, in my opinion, because remember you do have the button that you can touch at any time to display the case's charging status. Besides that, like I said earlier, you can customize your playback controls, you can customize the touch control sensitivity, turn ANC on or off. You can control the strength of your transparency mode along with other functions such as changing the name of the earbuds. One huge feature that is missing from the app is the ability to create your own EQ or even select from a library of built-in EQs for that matter, but this appears to be nowhere in the app. At least I couldn't find it. Speaking on the sound quality, to my ears with both pairs of these earbuds, the highs and mids that you get are crisp and clear. They get more than loud enough for my personal liking 
tracking and even when you max them out they don't distort much i can still hear those background instruments and vocals pretty clearly and these also do provide a decent amount of bass as well now the bass is not overpowering in my opinion but if you're listening to something with a nice bass line you will feel it overall i would say that the sound signature that you get with these earbuds is relatively balanced no one frequency dominates the others relative to the call quality you can take and make voice calls with both pairs of these earbuds as they do have built-in mics one major difference that you have in between the two is the tws1 pros are using cvc 8.0 the 330s on the other hand do use an algorithm but they don't use that algorithm. I have made quite a few voice calls with both pairs and in my opinion I think the TWS1 Pro sound better overall. You don't get as much of a tinny and airy sound as you'll get with the 330s. But I did capture a couple of samples for you guys so that you can judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. Alright guys, so right now I have the 330s paired to my iPhone 12 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing right now is coming directly from the microphones on the earbuds. Now I'm not going to do any type of editing to this audio, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how these earbuds perform for voice calls. Alright guys, so right now I have the TWS1 Pros paired to my iPhone 12 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing right now is coming directly from the microphones on the earbuds. I'm also not going to do any type of editing to this audio, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how these perform for voice calls. All in all fam, depending on what you're looking for, you have two solid options here from Edifier at around 50 bucks. Both pairs are going to provide you with respectable call quality, respectable audio quality, but the battery life is going to be much better with the TWS1 Pros and in my opinion the voice call quality is also better with this pair. Other than that they will both be more than adequate for most people. If you like stemmed earbuds the 330s are going to be great for you. If you don't like stemmed earbuds then go for the TWS1 Pros. I don't think you'll be disappointed. But you have made it this far in the video guys if you haven't already please drop a like on it for me because it definitely helps the channel grow and I appreciate it. Also if if this was your first time here why don't you consider subscribing as i drop at least one video on content just like this per week but until next time like i always say y'all be safe y'all stay positive and most importantly y'all have a great day i will catch y'all in the next one but until then it's your boy tech mo and i'm out peace